We are in our rental car, driving through my old neighborhood. Cruising. Cruising. We are actually on our way to go get Tyler's haircut. My mom's best friend, Ellen, is a hairstylist. I feel like this vlog is just going to be so much nostalgia. I found so many things going through old pictures last night that I have to show you guys so we can make fun of me. We used to have an apartment in that complex when I was younger before we moved into the house my mom's in now. Game plan for the day, we're gonna go get our hair cut and then we are going to hit up my absolute favorite spot in town, my favorite muffin, my favorite muffin and bagel. It has been my favorite spot since I was so young. They have little baby mini muffins and they're just so damn tasty. And then Lexi's gonna come home from college, we're gonna go thrifting. The whole fucking rest of the long weekend's gonna commence. My hair is out of control because I just tried it. Ha. Huh. Oh, you walked behind us. We got a loser. <laughs> My mom's going to pick out a loser, okay? Yeah. Tour to Centerville. Downtown Centerville hoes. That Mexican restaurant, Rachel and I used to sit out. We would use our fake IDs, drink marks, and then walk home. This is the downtown of the town I grew up in. It's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> My high school CHS, baby. Guys, my mom, we are here. Tyler's gonna get his hair cut. We're just here for, to yeah, hang, for just to hang with Ellen. That's for sure. Farmers only. Farmers only. Yeah, he was nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go, I had to grow from the system. He wasn't entirely. Oh my god, yeah. We used to walk to this Grater's ice cream after football games. Oh my gosh. We have arrived at the destination, at the best place in the world. Let's get it. Centerville Elks, baby. Two sugar cookie, three Oreo. Actually, I'll do three sugar cookie. I got my water. Tyler was literally saying we forgot how friendly people are here. Mm. Tyler got a bagel. We got the piece de resistance, the mini muffins. Okay guys, I just got home, Tyler dropped me back off, and a queen has arrived. My little sister is back from college, and my mom and I got her a gift. Oh. I picked these out for you with love yesterday. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat Wait, so much. Like so, like so the three of us are about to head off to the Also, like, store. why does the oatmeal raisin look good, and like, because I thought the oatmeal raisin looked really good. Am I an old lady now? I'm an Ohio thrift queen. Ohio thrift queen. Honestly, though, looking for an Ohio thrift queen. Hit me up, sister. Boss ladies. Evans area. I'm bored. Sunny's on. Oh, my sunnies are in the car. Oh, wait. Sunny's on. Show them your new sunnies. Oh, yeah. She got these from The Real Real. They were only 40 bucks. Yeah, they look really good. stuff. And we love Fendi Queen. Okay, we're gonna head off to the thrift store that I literally learned how to thrift at in high school. I'm so excited. Lexi got me these at the thrift store that we are going to right now. These are Ralph Lauren freaking like giraffe print I love, sandals. Like, the I can't deal, they're perfect. Let's go find some more gems. Oh, we will. very special thrift extravaganza because today I am back in Ohio in my hometown. What's good, my sisses? Can't believe Macy's here. <laughs> this video is proof that it actually happened. Give me a little shimmy, ladies. With your pants, you look like a fisherman. You, oh my god, why are you so cute? Do you want to dance with me? Okay, we just got done with our thrift extravaganza and we got so much stuff. So I will either link that video down below if it's out already or it will be out after this vlog. Hi guys, so I literally just got done rushing to get the fully thrifted outfits of the week video up. Enjoying a nice glass of wind to congratulate myself and I am trying to get ready for the rehearsal dinner that we're going to. We are actually in Ohio for Tyler's stepbrother's wedding. Uh, I'm a little nervous, sometimes I just 
get nervous. So I don't even know how I feel judged and strange and I don't know, but that's why we're having some win. Um, I think that I'm gonna wear this green dress. I'm waiting for Tyler to come pick me up. I'm pretty hungry, so I hope it's like good ass food. And I think I'm gonna use my Fendi bag, but let's go see. There's a really good full length mirror downstairs. Okay, so it's kind of dark in here, but this is the dress. Um, and then I'm thinking about doing like this gold shimmy shake top over it, which would then look like this. Oh, this lighting is ass, ass lighting. I don't know what to wear. Honey, Mom's in bed. Nice. It looks, um, I feel like, sophisticated and I feel like dinner. it's not me. You're going out to dinner, you look nice. I know, but I don't wanna look nice, I wanna look like me. Well, sometimes you have to go out to dinner and look nice. <laughs> Does that mean I don't look nice when I look like me? <laughs> you look sophisticated and tomorrow you're going to look blah blah boom. Oh, yeah. we are rehearsal dinner ready. Look at the vibes. We kinda go together. And this is our rental car, guys. And it's literally the same exact car as my mom's and I don't know how that happened, but we got this. Okay, wish me luck, guys. Hi guys, so it's Saturday. I'm so tired. We were up so incredibly late last night and I just, I'm dead getting homesick. I need, I wanna go back to LA, but I'm getting ready for the wedding. I feel I look a little bit tired, but I thought I would say hi. Oh, this is a shimmy it out kind of morning. I'm depleted of energy. Hello, hello, good morning. Oh, so bright. I'm in this random room at my mom's house. It's pretty much just the theme of this entire video. Anyway, hello, it is Sunday. It is Sunday morning. Ah, I'm just really, really tired. We were out like really late last night and I just like rarely ever go out at home. Like when we're home, we never go out, but there are too many people to see and it's definitely starting to weigh on me. I'm definitely someone that like needs a little bit of downtime and this has been a lot of like go, go, go. Today's gonna be an actual super awesome day and I'm very excited to vlog it for you guys. I'm gonna be seeing one of my best friends from college, Jen, who I haven't seen since my going, me and Tyler's going away party when we moved from OU to LA. She lives in Indianapolis, but she was one of my best friends like my mom in college she's amazing and she's making the drive from Indy to Dayton and we're gonna go get brunch and then later my ex-stepmom and other little sister Catherine my half-sister they are driving in from Columbus to have dinner with us I think my brothers are gonna come to cannot be sure but um, yesterday was the wedding Tyler's stepbrother's wedding it was really nice I didn't vlog like yesterday at all I don't know I was just so tired um, I can never catch up with the time change when I'm here also I've just been like I've been having a really really good time but to be real with you guys like um, as much as I'm trying to just like enjoy these couple of days I don't know if any of you guys can relate that like moved away from where you lived your whole life but I just get really for lack of a better word triggered kind of coming home um, Ohio was like kind of always a place it was a place I lived forever and the place that um, a lot of bad things happened. I mean, it's also a place that has some good memories, but it's kind of like, not like I ran away from it to go to LA, but I definitely made the decision um, after college that moving to LA was the healthiest thing for me. It was the best thing for me. I needed to remove myself from certain situations that were toxic for me my entire life. And um, I knew that I would want to talk to you guys about this kind of real stuff in this vlog because as much fun as going home is, there's a reason I don't do it more than like once a year, once every year and a half because it's hard. And um, in the past couple of years, our family's really changed. You know, my dad had a second divorce. My grandpa passed away, my grandma passed away. My uncle stopped talking to us. My dad and I don't talk anymore. We haven't talked in, I don't know, since April, I think is the last time me and my dad spoke. Um, so it's just, a lot of changes have happened and it's emotional and going home just like isn't what it ever was before, but it's okay. And there's so much stuff I wanna go through and show you guys that I found that I just, I don't know, I feel like sharing with you guys because I know it's like, we're here for the fashion, but like, also I, there's so much more that I want to share with you guys and kind of be able to talk to you about because I feel like I have been through certain things to put it out into the world to help other people because I wish I had so 
someone to kind of look to when I was younger that had been through things and could like tell me, hey look, I wrote these things in my journal when I was in high school and I felt like the lowest of the low and like things were never gonna get better and like here I am and things got better. Things only got better because I made them get better. You know, you gotta like play your hand in it and really start standing up for yourself. Not that you're not already, but I'm saying like I had to do that. I had to start putting myself first and I had to really, really make the decision to change kind of like my outlook on life. And I wanna share with you guys some stuff because I know you guys see like the positivity queen, positivity, hey, 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 <laughs> me that I am now. And it just, I wanna share with you guys the stuff that it really kind of took me fighting through to get to this point. Um, do you wanna see some cute pictures? So I've been going through these pictures. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a song that I wrote, guys. I used to write songs, of course. Um, this is a hilarious family photo. This is my dad, my ex stepmom Julie, my uh, my half sister Catherine, Max, Sam, me and Lexi. Funny story about this picture. This was a Greek family reunion. Like our whole family from Greece came in and Lexi and I couldn't come. So they photoshopped us in the picture. Um, let's see. Here's a bunch of Macy being a big ham sandwich. Ham for life. I mean, it doesn't scream blazed and glazed. I just don't know what does. Me and Lexi being hard. Uh, oh my God, look how cute this picture is. It's Lexi laying on me sleeping. Um, oh my gosh, me and Lexi, besties. My Teen Vogue Fashion U books. My Rachel Zoe book, all of my fashion books. Secrets of Stylists, these are all like books I had in high school. And I would just like read about fashion. <laughs> my color theory portfolio from college. I hated this class so, 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 so much. Something just smelled weird. Okay, I am going to get ready for brunch. We're gonna go meet up with Jen. I'm so fucking excited. Oh my God. This is when I met uh, Mary McDonald and Ryan Cooley from Degrassi. Sound off in the comments if you are a Degrassi stand to the max. I know I've said that to you guys before. Also, Adam Lambert, another obsession. Also, cheerleading, yikes. And then we'll just end on another ham sandwich. See you later. Oh, guys, I'm having extreme endometriosis pains today, but we are headed to brunch. This is one of the things I thrifted on my little thrift trip the other day with my mom and my sister. Oh. Jen said she's 25 minutes away, so. It's over there. I was right there. It's called Lily's Bistro. Lily. with my people. Downtown Dayton vibes. This is cute. We stand. We have Queen <laughs> Jen here, of course, like. Absolutely fantastic, always. The trains, you know, it's all kind of the Oregon district. That's where I met your dad. What? Sunday evening, Lexi's headed back to campus, yeah. but she's driving me over to our brother Sam's house for a little mini family get together first. Look at these stickers that Lexi found for our phones. That's me and her. Come to LA soon, bitch. Come to Brazil. What up? Lexi's leaving us. Lexi's going back to Athens. Bye, queen. Show us your straw, you sustainability queen. If anybody needs a sip, I've got a straw. I got you covered. This long ass family weekend is continuing. We got baby girl cat. This is like your debut on Blazing Blaze. Oh my God, it is. Hello queens. Hi. Um, we are walking to go meet the rest of the squad at, oh, there they are over there. Hey. <laughs> Hey, 
Hello guys, it is Monday morning, my last day in Ohio. We are going back to LA today. Thank God, I am in, this is a room that used to be my office in like the in-between couple months after I was done with college before we moved to LA. I just thought I would like, I don't know, today is like a very relaxing day. This whole trip has been very go, 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 which is a little bit hard for me. I'm not like someone, I don't know, I felt weird about this like going home vlog because I feel like a lot of times if we're gonna be real, you know, um, I feel like a lot of the times when I see people vlogging like going home or whatever, it's just so... Why do I keep not being in focus? Okay, I'm gonna have to get my camera fixed, guys. I'm like really sorry about that. I just feel like a lot of the times when I see people vlogging about going home or like spending time with their family, it's very positive, it's very upbeat. This is awesome, this is so fun, yay, 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 yay. And for me, that's just like not the case. I really appreciate the time I get to spend with my family and I'm really grateful that I have my mom and that I have my sister and that I have Sam and Max and Catherine and all of these wonderful people that are in my life. But there's just so much, um, there's just so much, you know, when I come back to Dayton, it feels heavy. Last night after we had dinner, um, I came back here with Tyler and I just started crying. Like, I need to get back to LA. I need to get back to LA. And I, I just want you guys to know, I think I might've said this earlier in the vlog, if you're like struggling living in your hometown, you're in high school, college, out of it, and you don't think there's anything better. Like, there is a better life for you out there. There is a life you can create for yourself out there. And I know we all come from different privileges and have our own, like, advantages and disadvantages getting to those better places. But, like, it's possible. And you're not the problem. You have something special in you. Even if you feel like you're in an environment that's shutting it down or around people that are shutting it down. I just am so grateful for the life that I've created for myself. I'm grateful to myself for... Um, pushing through like the really hard times this <laughs> was a door that was very particular to my breakdowns I would sit in front of it with my back up against it and just cry and like just scream into the universe like when is thing when are things gonna get better like why me and as my grandpa passed away and grandma and like things that happened with my dad throughout my whole entire childhood it's been it's just been it's been a lot it's been a lot. It's so heavy. Like the energy in this town is so heavy for me. I'm doing really great in my recovery for my eating disorder specifically. It, I'm at a place with food in my body I never thought possible. Um, I respect myself and I care about myself and I love food. And like I just, I, I'm, I'm, I, it took a lot of time to get here. A lot, a lot of time. And I just have never been better when it comes to that. And that was totally great on this trip. When I say triggering, I mean more so like it triggers my depression and my anxiety in a way to kind of try, try to bring me back to the place I was when I lived here, where I hated myself and I talked terribly to myself and I let other people do that to me and I didn't stand up for myself. And on this trip, I really stood up for myself to the people that decided to have some choice words for me about how they feel I'm living my life or how they feel I am as a person. Anyway, on a happy note, I thought I would show you guys some really funny things that I found. First of all, this picture of my parents, putting my dad drama to the side, um, I'm putting, this is for fashion. Tell me you've never seen anything more blazed and glazed, like these are my parents. This is just like vibes. And then look at this, that literally is my face and my face combined, which makes sense. And there's us down there when I was a little, little baby. And then uh, my mom got out this binder that I used for back to school one year. This is a full custom Degrassi, Degrassified. Uh, notebook uh, full of De Degrassi photos. I also needed to show you guys my Degrassi posters. I didn't like make Degrassi posters so I had to make these myself. Just take a look. <laughs> this, I have to show you guys how funny this is because I was drama to the max. This was a like timeline of our life we had to make in my eighth grade class. And of course I made it so dramatically. So here's the beginning. That's fine. I was born on September 21st. But guys, this one, look at this picture. Being such a little queen. And I wrote, when I was four years old, I watched the movie Grease at daycare. And from that day on, I knew I wanted to be a performer. Like that makes my heart just burst and it makes me just know that I can never give up on my dreams. So never let me give up guys. But then the drama, the pure drama guys. I write about my parents' divorce right here. Like I always lived for the drama. I lived for the arts. I lived for the drama of the arts. And I literally like cut this picture and like, like I don't know. Like so weird. Center row basketball poster. Do you guys want to see me as a little miniature cheerleader? Queen. 
Okay, here we have my grandpa and I, who was my best friend in the entire world. Like, obviously, look, we were just hanging out in my little studio. And then, this picture of my parents that truly looks like an ad. Um, I just feel like you can see where my sense of style comes from because this photo like encapsulates me. Have a nice flight back to LA is not till later tonight. I'm gonna hit up the thrift store again because I wanna get so much stuff. Like I'm checking a whole entire extra bag of thrift stuff so I might as well fill it to the damn brim if I'm paying to check a bag. I'm also, I think, going to go by the cemetery and visit my really, 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 really amazing good old friend um, John Coakley. He was like one of those friends, you know, like those friends that got you through your childhood. Um, that's him. Him and I were like together forever through anything. We just had a thick as thieves bond and he passed away during my last year of college and I um, really want to go visit him because his birthday is in a couple of days and so like we were always birthday buddies and it was always like a thing like we celebrated together made a big deal about together and so I feel like it's a sign that I'm back here in our birthday month and I just want to go say happy birthday to him bring some flowers stuff like that so I'm going to pack up and then I'm gonna to go to the cemetery and then we're gonna go to the thrift store and then we're gonna go back to LA shimmies for getting back to LA and real normal life guys look at what I just found while I'm packing this was a note I had hidden in my bedroom that I wrote when I was younger. Let them out. No one will ever know the ideas in your head if you don't let them out to the entire world. We're all gonna live by this quote now. Blaze and Glaze quote of the year. So guys, so I am back in LA and just about to put up this video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it was kind of a personal one, kind of a long one, but I like to throw these in a little bit in between the fashion content just so we can talk about like a little bit more. And you know, we can, we can have a little bit more substance happening over here on Blazed and Glaze. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe down below if you're not already. Remember, you are a beautiful ass queen. I noticed editing this video, I didn't say beautiful ass queen enough times. Beautiful ass queen, beautiful ass queen, beautiful ass queen. You are a damn beautiful ass queen just the way you are no matter what and that is the tea on that I will see you guys back here on Friday with a full thrift with me and my mom and my sister from Ohio with of course a dancing and prancing and having a good ass time try on haul leave me some just like comments down below I want to know your guys thoughts on this video if you can relate to anything from this video how this video made you feel um, anything I just want to talk with you guys okay I'll see you Friday peace